Welcome to this special review of Ariel's Division 4. I am your host, Lydias, and our Master of Ceremonies. Iron Master! Alright, so what we've decided to do is just take a quick look at Division 4's teams. We are not worried about playoff chances or anything like that. We just want to look at the teams, kind of a, a review of where they are now, and just... We were going to try to get some people to join us, but everybody wanted to be lazy tonight. Yeah, they're like, Thursday night, this is when I should go out and party. And I'm like, Damn. Friday's tomorrow, guys. Uh, you'll learn that when you go on campus. Thursday night is the going out night. Well, it's, I didn't know that. It's one. crazy. You go. You're, you're yeah. going to, like I said, you're going to learn. I, I went to Clemson University as a 30 something year old student, and it amazed me to watch all these people going out on Thursday. I'm like, you got classes tomorrow, jackass. Yeah. But uh, I think to start us off, we should look at Resistance is Feudal. And we are doing she... so. Um, at least on my screen, we are. He and, has uh, a 13 3 15, so he has more than one season, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. This is a second season team. Ooh, he had, a just... rough, he had a rough rookie year. Yep. Yeah. But. He does have a nice looking team right now with uh, a couple of dead players, but that happens when you play Gengar. Dude, check it out. Three dirty playing peasants. I mean. He's doing it right. Yeah, it's right. No doubt. With it. Got the Strength 4 Blitzer, the Strength 4 Blocker. Yeah. I, like now, I just want you to know that one peasant literally has three MVPs on him. That's funny. <laughs> That's great. I don't know if I would have took the strength up on the blitzer. Uh, it's just he's a now ball carrier, and that's just gonna be hard to steal uh -huh. a ball away from. Because I was thinking with Dauntless, it makes him. I don't know. I guess strength four. Well, still... Dauntless is also is a free skill. So yeah. I mean, if you go up against a big guy, you yeah. roll two plus, and then bam. It's not like it makes Dauntless any. Like, well, less mighty useful. blow would have went well with that, and you could have done that with the double sixes. But no, you're probably right. No, you don't reject plus strength on anybody except like a snotling. Anyway. Like I said, you're probably right. Yeah. And got another but, uh, lineman about to level up, so I wonder if he's going to go actually fourth uh, dirty player, or will he actually put kick on the team? I think kick would do good. But, uh, I mean, maybe he's just going to keep tap dancing on people, you know? The Nightmare could make a... Uh... Vanity pass and get his first level in the next game. Yep, I think you just got a uh, MVP on him recently, so that's definitely a good idea. Probably a, get a uh, dodge on him, just because Blodge is super strong. Oh yeah. But maybe he'll just make a pass or straight up. They do <laughs> have the passing tree. He has enough money to go ahead and buy an enhancement. His uh, stadium is level two. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if he's going to stick with the team or if he's re-rolling for Ellie. He is re-rolling to Vampires, from what I heard. Ah. So, look at get you. ready for it. He look even at... made a cool announcement video that's unlisted, so I can't really, in goodwill, just put down the description. But uh, just know if you look in Reddit, it's there. Gotcha. Well, let's take a look at uh, the next team. We're going to skip Gamba's Git since Gamba has dropped for this season. Yeah. Uh, so looking we at the Lizard Yes, sir. We don't break armor. Okay. Yeah. I have played this team once, and that's a really cool coach, and he's pretty fun to play against. Sadly, though, King Croc has been taken out for this next game with a niggling injury. Or, no, he had the niggling injury, and then now has the n missed next game. So oh, you had a... player this strong, I would just keep him there. You had a 1-1 game against him. And you had yeah. a death. You did kill people. Hmm. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun match. I oh, fun. goodness. Look at that agility up skink living the life. Yeah. Only well, problem is he has a niggle, but uh, sometimes just a niggle, I believe, gives him plot armor, so he might be okay. He's got nine, ten, he's got a, a movement 12 skink. Yeah. Yeah, when King Croc comes back, he definitely needs to pick up grab. Yeah, I think uh, his choices so far have been quite solid, oh, though. Oh, he's got a niggling injury. 
Yep. But uh, his Saurus, they may not be the best Saurus I've ever seen, but they all have block except one, which is really strong. Gengar's Revenge. Yep. Six matches. I wonder if um, maybe they named him after the death that Gengar gave him. I believe so. And it was because he just uh, scored a lot on him. So, pretty cool to watch. Take a look there at the coaching assistants and the cheerleaders. That's something you don't see too often. Yep. I actually don't mind it, even though it's like 30k bloat. So, he could really be a 1480 team. Well, but he, it's really not affecting much, and he's getting free rerolls out of it a lot of the time. He's got 80, 80 team value just from his bank. Yeah. I believe that's new, though, and he should... Uh, I would suggest at least hiring an extra skink. So those get replaced quite quickly. Well, I think he may try to go into his next game with that money and use it to buy, like, Sibley. That's true. He is a very solid player. Yeah. But the only problem is he will have a loner next game, so... Yeah. Either way you look at it. True story. I don't know. Well... Yeah. I like the team. I agree with you. I mean, definitely getting block on every Saurus is a wonderful gift. Uh, he seems to really enjoy sidestep for his skinks as their first skill. Though the movement up and sprint makes that guy pretty amazing. Add sure feet and then maybe catch down the road and that guy is gone all day. Yep, he's doing one turns with one push. So he's probably going to need sure feet and then, or sure feet sidestep like you said. One push up, it's going to be really easy. Get catch. Gone down the field and uh, touchdown. Yeah. So that's what I'm expecting out of this team next season. I hope he sticks with it. Yep. Because uh, he does have good Saurus because most of them are just that little bit away from leveling up. Like an MVP could drop on them and they go. Or just that they need one Kaz. So it's going to be cool to see. Well, you want to pop on over to the unlucky Skull Skull. Yep. Because his team motto is all I roll are ones. Yep. And I don't think that's true. Yep. So, he's got two cool looking Tomb Guardians and then two not so cool looking Tomb Guardians. And has a uh, frenzy blitz rod. Do you agree with that? Uh, I don't see why not. I mean, sometimes you got to make a gimmick, right? Yep, I just thought uh, piling on might be better, but I mean, he is getting SPP, and I could be just blowing smoke, you know? Uh, I think the next skill he's probably going to get is tackle. Yep, especially with Frenzy now, he really doesn't want him on the ground unless he gets doubles, in which case you'll have a monster. And how about that throw raw up. with the leader? I agree with that. It's just they have 70k team rerolls. So when you can cut off 50k, sure, it's, it's normals on that. And the, that's pretty good. The agility on the random skeleton probably was very annoying. That's not annoying. That's just amazing. Well, Picking up on a three plus. Is sure, awesome. but you'd want that on. Rain, a, I would think you would want that on the throw rot himself. Yeah, that's granted. But if it's actually on a player who can use the agility, not a tomb guardian, that's amazing on its own. Fair enough. So. Guard skeleton, that's a that's a nice little bonus. Yep, he's doing solid. And he's playing with a two throw rod, so yeah. Oh, so I wonder what he's gonna do with this one because another leader is not gonna help you. Yeah, I think for his next throw rod, what is that? It has just block. He'll probably get a uh, passing skill if he's mad, or maybe just another general skill like kickoff return. Hail Mary pass. Or Hail Mary pass. <laughs> Get it downfield. Yeah. Let your rickety skeletons pick it up. I like this. I've, I've never played too much of the Kamari. What about yourself? Or Kemri? Uh, I've played the Kemri a little bit, and I just couldn't get them. But I'm glad that some people can and use it to their advantage. Yeah, I'm just not uh, spiteful enough to play a Bash all the time. And the inability to pick up the ball aggravates the hell out of me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's got Nuffles Altar. Does he? 
Yes, he does. And he's already level 3 in the pit, so... I guess his regen has been working. He hasn't had to purchase too many replacement players. Yep. Well, let's look at his statistics. How many people have died? Only one death sustained. And he's inflicted two. It is interesting. Yeah, he's doing pretty awesome on that. I mean, Great he tally. has enough money right now. He could pick up a spare skeleton. If yeah, wanted. I can see that. But it, uh, he's at a lower money amount right now, if I remember. So... It's not the best. It's Nazarific. What's this? The Ace Trucking Company. Any yeah. space, any time. I that, believe I've actually played against this team. That is a bright green team. Yep. Got a sure hands blocking Hobgoblin. Two centaurs not really doing too much of anything. Is the one new or something? Yes, two matches. Yeah. And the one so with... yes, I did play him as his second spin. And in block block out of 15 matches, he's leveled up once. How did he level up? Statistics. One pass. And one MVP touchdown. Bro. Wow, he's really going for everything on and those. And one casualty. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. A Chaos but, uh, Dwarf with a tail. Oh, I gotta look at this. That is a strange model indeed. I like it. it. It's funny, but if you think about it, he's gonna be your guy that bases any agility player like a gunner. Oh yeah. Runner. Oh yeah. What's yeah. better than tackle and prehensile tail? Uh, two tackles and prehensile tails? Exactly. He's got his claw mighty blow player as well, so... And then just lines of guard. Right. Also, Quattro Quattro did roll Quattro Quattro on that level up, so he did get the tail. I remember that. That was great. So, he does have a uh, bench of one with his Hobgoblins. Ooh, I got my first blood! I still like how his Hobgoblins the star of the show with Ace. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got the uh, dirty player for him, so yeah. I, yeah. What's that one cat? Is that a cat face? I don't. It's just a happy face, I think. Okay. Meme tastic. He's yeah. looking pretty good. Let's see what his club looks like. He's level two, no enhancements. Eight, four, and three is a statistic. So he's doing pretty well. He had his. Uh, he played all four of his spin games coming in. Yep. Nice. I believe that is the division leader, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> well, at the moment, he's in second place. But he's tied. Technically, he's tied. But like you said, yep. you want to take a look at the next one? Yep, let's go to Gengar's team, Iron Maiden. Madden, whichever you want. <laughs> I think that's Iron Madden. And just look at those Tomb Guardians. Yeah, um, he's got the niggling injury on the one. I mean, that's not too bad. All of them have guard and mighty blow, so screw what you wanted to do. Yeah. Strength up and blitzer. And he has a strength up blitzer. Who piles on. That's ugly. This is a mess. <laughs> I wouldn't want to face it. He no. even has Eddie with the sneaky get and the DP. Right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is not a team I would want to be pitted against. He has inflicted 14 injuries, but only one casualty. I don't know if uh, I don't know if fouling go does anything in your stats. Let's see how I many. Don't believe it does anything except for kills. He's inflicted oh, nine kills so far this season. The team or just this guy? The team. Okay. He's got rid of the riot and the pitch evasion. Really thought he'd get a bribe. <laughs> He doesn't need it when he has a bench. It's a mess. Because he has, what, 13 players? I'm pretty sure that a 40k piece is cheaper than oh, yeah. 100k. Yeah. Bribe. <laughs> well, I mean, six Mighty Blow players is not, not is not anything to sneeze at either. Yeah. The, the one interesting thing I do see here is that he is actually running leader and still holding on to the three rerolls. I was looking at that myself. I was thinking if he ever wants to trim 70 points off his team, he could do that at any given moment. 
Yep, and 70 points would drop him from 1,600 to 1,530. And that's way, 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 way less to give up. So I would suggest that for Gengar. Well, I mean... But his team is just looking like he's going to kill anybody. I think he's going to save it. Because, I mean, look, he's got 80k. Let's say he he did that for his next game, and he is under TV enough to get the 70 points. That's a, that's a pocket, you know, half a pocket wizard, right? Yep. Damn it. So... Going it's on. gonna be interesting what he does there. Cash crew part do. This is um what appears to be what's left of a human team. Well, I wouldn't say what's left because he 420K? has one hundred and twenty k. Something ain't right. Yeah. Wait. Where's his matches? There it is. So, I think he's been getting a bunch of concedes, or at least two in a row. No. No, he played them. Uh, is he going for the stadium upgrade? I don't know. Maybe he's saving his money, and at the end of the season, he's going to buy from the, uh, the, the market. That would be smart, but wait, wait, wait. Cash crew has a bunch of cash. Cash rules everything around me as the team motto. Hmm. I think I found the theme. He's a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I really hope at the end of the season he's buying star players because, damn, what's the point of doing all this if you're not going to get anything out of it? Yeah. Um, I would love to see him just steal up a bunch of, like, nice players. Like, he could remove this Mighty Blow Blitzer. Who needs it? If he just wants, like, a real star. The and actually, rest would be hard to throw away, though. Maybe yeah. Blogger. Well, I mean, he could find a good. Uh, depending on who's in the uh, in the free agency, he might find good linemen. You know, a lineman or two that has block uh, a guard. I mean, he might find a decent thrower. Who knows? Um, so if he's playing for that game, that's going to be interesting. The agility four uh, catcher, he could put a leap on that guy and be a real monster. Yep. Oh. I think it would have been better if he took wrestle as his next skill if he was going to do that, though. I don't mean him to be a leap as a, um... You mean for the one turn? I don't know about one turn, but just it'd be a catcher who could get over the line of scrimmage and keep on trucking. Yep, yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, the one blitzer that strength up frenzy and tackle, that's pretty cool. Yeah. A blodging diving tackle. He just has a, a beautiful variety and is really playing up the advantage of humans. Uh, I just the 420k gives him what a team value of 1410, and then one, two, three, f five, six, seven. He's adding six star uh, loners, so that's another 300 to his team value every game. So he's going into games at 1710 and really being behind the eight ball. Makes me wonder what is yeah, his final uh, his final strategy here. I don't know. Maybe he wants the hard times. Whoa, 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 whoa. But uh, the reasons I like it is just he has good players where he needs them. And he really, in theory, could buy everything he wants back, including that third reroll, which I don't know why he ditched unless he had a uh, nice throw or something. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think if, if he's going to do that with his money, he is going to make a fun team. If if the if there's people in the market for him to buy. What the hell? Can yeah, you so uh, oh, hopefully not too many human teams are re-rolling. I know that some are, but he might be able to snag a couple cool players, you know, with that bank. I would like to that, see That is the other thing we're not thinking of is human teams that stick around. He may be going... Hey, you know what? You've got a really cool lineman who's worth 70k. What if I give you 80k for him and be able to snag some yep. stars off the plate? Well, I'd hope he'd be buying 80k ones with guard cuz that's yeah. the cheapest they come. That's but, what I'm uh, thinking. I know what you're saying. Well, do you want to take a look at Communist Frat Party now? Whoa. Yeah, let's go take a look at that team. Here's a human team that's, you know, where my Soviets at. Yeah. Hopefully they load in for me. Not, not as developed as the six players on the last human team, but more well-rounded. Definitely. He does have a team for everything, or a uh, 
person for everything. He's got a wrestle uh, catcher. He has two throwers. I don't necessarily uh, agree with it. I don't. But I, I don't like that, that either. Work. I would build one thrower as a runner, and then or as a thrower, and then once you get that, let's say eighty percent built the way you want, level three four, then you pick up the extra thrower. Yeah, I agree. And his. Uh, um, I think I'd rather a second catcher on this team, but... Yeah. His other blitzer, his uh, bottom blitzer there is a new one. It only has three games under its belt. Yeah, so somebody died. But he does have a bunch of doubles rolls on people. Well, by a bunch, I mean two. <laughs> but oh, that's gosh. a thrower and a blitzer, so that's pretty nice. Slim Kim Jong-un. Epic Rap Battles would be so proud of you right now. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Watch me snap it to a Slim Jim Kim Jong Il. I like this team. Yeah. <laughs> I like humans. Humans are cool. It's just Adji 3 gets to you sometimes. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? His spin, he lost three spin matches, but he didn't sustain any deaths. So that's a good that's a good sign. Yeah. And he inflicted three casualties and scored one touchdown. So I had two successful catches. So 15... Plus nine is 24, 25, 31 SPP in his, in his spin games. That's not totally bad. That's pretty good. Even though it's like two uh, concede games worth of SPP, it probably got onto his uh, blitzers and catchers and stuff like that. So, Yeah, I've got to learn to, to pick guard and stand firm on a blitzer from time to time. These seem to be um, key. They're amazing. It seems to be key for humans that I just don't recognize that. Yep. Most of the time when I play, I don't even start with a catcher, and I th use the blitzers as catchers. Yeah, they, you can do that because that's how you uh, farm up some SVP. But uh, I have to say for what this team has, he has a kicker. He has a wrestle lineman to put on the line or just be annoying with. Right. He just he has a lot of uh, situational pieces like a tackler, his guard stand firm, a blodger. And stuff like that. And he does have 12 people, so he can pull the low level thrower or the catcher off if he wants. I doubt he's going to pull that catcher off, though. Yeah. Considering it's it's probably his ball ball hawk. Certainly, but uh, I don't think he's going to throw away the thrower because he's had him this long. I'm a big fan of. Which is this long, I mean, one match. <laughs> The Ogre has four casualties, so it's out of 14 games. Not doing a lot of work, but doing more than some og big guys do. I like yeah. Ogres. Ogres are a pretty solid one with their uh, solid stats. Few are better, but I believe the Rat Ogre is pretty cool comparatively. The Rat Ogre has what? Uh, less armor? Less armor and more movement. Does it have more movement? Yeah, okay. And I know it has Wild Animal instead of Bonehead. And Frenzy. Yeah. That's where it shines to me, but what are you going to do? Um, make two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Random number... No, KNG. I thought that was an RNG. My mistake. War Boss Zodgrod. Dude, that sounds like an orc name from World of Warcraft or a DC villain from the uh, City of Apes. Well, uh, Gorilla Grodd is a uh, DC villain. From so. the City of Apes. Yeah, you got me there. He's yep. <laughs> looking pretty good. You know what I like? I bet you like that movement up on that centaur. I was about to say just having levels on both centaurs, but yes, I really do like that movement up on that whole centaur. I don't know, man. But If it was doubles, I'd have went with something else, but I can totally see you know taking the movement like he did. I'm not a big yeah, fan of it so myself good. because I'm not a big fan of the centaurs as a carrier. Now, if you're looking here, there's not a single uh, doubles roll on here. Unless Shin has one in the waiting. Yep. Well, as of now, because well, six and a four could give that movement, but... He's got a bucket of money. I think oh. it's time to buy two hobgoblins. Right? And go ahead and get to work. Or, uh, if you'll click his club real quick, 
You'll see he's got the level two. He need oh he's got the security gate. He's got Never a mind. Security gate. I see that now. I take it back. Then uh, I still think probably upgrading the club and dropping eighty k on two players wouldn't be the worst idea. Can he up? Yeah, I guess. Well, three hundred. 300 would take him out of the ability to buy another Hobgoblin. Oh, is it 300k for level 3? Yeah, I, I think so. I thought it was 200. I, I could be wrong. Same here. No, you're right. You're right. So 200k minus another 800 would put him at 50k. I don't know. I mean, I love the idea of letting the loners earn their spot. But I think well, with... I think dirty when, player. He needs the bench. Yeah, that is a good point. And I was going to say was, I think with needing your re-rolls for uh, bull centaur pickups and other situations, you do not want to be wasting uh, the chances of re-rolls on loners. Yeah. So, yeah, I would go ahead and buy them myself as well. But I do like the hobgoblins as far as crappy line characters go. Yeah, they're really solid. They're... uh same stats as a thrall, funnily enough. But uh, they're just 6337, which I, was about I believe to say is also they're, Amazons. They're 10k short of a human and they're missing one armor. Yeah. So I don't mind I mean, them. I would rather these players than human linemen. Yeah, I just, think I would too, because what do you want them for? You know, you've got dwarves to be your linemen. Yeah. He's so really a, just solid, cheap guys. Yeah, he's looking good. And an 835. Uh, history he had four games so he had three wins and one loss in his spin he has an admin decision I'm not sure what that's about maybe there was some shenanigans during the season that they, they had to fix mm -hmm. but yeah I, I wonder what the KNG stands for it'd be nice if he explained that down in the uh, team motto also, where are you seeing this admin division? Or, Go to uh, statistics. Yep. You see where it says all matches? Click the arrow. Got it. Kills your admin decision two or something like that. Huh. That's weird. Well, he's got two touchdowns, but he's also got the one touchdown sustained. Let's take a look in his... Uh, I, I just don't know. I don't really. There it is. There it is. It's the Rebel free to win. I don't know why this happened, but that's what's going on. It is an admin game. They gave him a 2 1 victory. Wait, you know, I know what probably happened. I'm all ears. Someone probably accidentally hit the wrong button when they hit edit, and they're like give this person the concede and they gave it to the wrong person. I don't think that would happen that way because they made a division specifically for this. Notice the competition is kill ya kills ya admin decision FI I think I believe kills ya fast is a uh, competitor in this or I could be wrong uh, let's take a quick look at the leaderboard nope I'm not saying it I think he may have been someone who dropped in the season earlier and they had to give him the win or something I'm not sure but they, they gave it to him in a 2-1 so he didn't get a money advantage <laughs> like that matters now with his 330k yeah, yeah, yeah but, uh, he, he's poised really good to go into next season well and strong yeah he actually might want to keep that bank just in case he wants to trade yeah if you're crazy enough to go with like 15 or 1800 over in your next match well but. I mean He's if you can survive it. Yeah, he's got one chaos blocker. He can he can trade with no worries. And he's got another one that's one SPP away. Might be able to trade that down to somebody who needs some extra money. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a lot of fun that he could have with that if uh, he can find willing participants. Yeah, I'd like to see him get some uh, cool chaos dwarf blockers if he can. Well, sir. We are going to take a look at Squiggy, yeah, who seems Squig to dude's team. have gotten murdered a bit on his return. Well, I think that's fine, considering that Wardancer's there. 
Yeah, I or mean, I shouldn't say good lord, look at that guy. Agility and movement? Agility up on a war dancer is a gift from Nuffle. I mean... Just two plus leaps, because it's automatically a skill for him. Right. And the catcher's only missing next game, so that injury's not too bad. Yep. So 8, 9, 10, 11, and sure feet. Or is that is that movement 8? Yeah. Yeah. So it makes you, the question, who should be your one-turner? Who cares? you got two choices. I know, but like, if you were to choose, which one do you think would be the better one for it? Uh, d technically the war dancer, because it has a better strength? I don't know. It has a better agility. It can catch the ball when you're trying to throw it into a pile of people. I don't do one turns very well, so I don't know how to answer that question. And by very well, I mean at all. Yeah, it's just the question is because the one catcher, or both catchers have catch automatically. Right. So that's just your free reroll there, and then they have the sure feet on them. So well, they have that, sprint. He's going to be one doing TFI sure. is good. It, yep. Either way, he's his team is doing well. He needs some banks so he can get some new players back. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So well, that's get... actually the perfect amount because that gives you the two loaners you always want for your LOS. I, I get what wow. you're saying, but I don't know. I would rather have my own players than the loaners. But I do well, like the fact that he's got a, a dodging wrestle guy. He's got a kicker named after you. Yeah. Did you start in the rookie league? No, I didn't start in the rookie league. I just uh, petitioned Don to his team. Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> He didn't have a thrower, so maybe I should petition to him to become the thrower. Yep, convince him, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then a guard line elf, that's it's a wonderful thing to get, but they just never seem to survive. Well, if you do somehow keep an AV7 player alive and you get block, that starts getting them a little bit better and, and then, then they dodge. get dodged. <laughs> and then if they get doubles roll and you can just stand firm it somehow. But man, a movement hilarious. nine, agility five, strip ball, leaping, war dancer, and then another one who can kill your players. Yep. I think the only thing that uh, war dancer needs will be uh, plus strength. And he'll be good. Or pro. Well, no, I just mean the uh, top one. So do I. If you can't get the plus strength, pro. But come on, it's Squiggy. He doesn't really need us telling oh. him what to do. Or he gets Juggernaut. That no, will require no. doubles. Well, I mean, he's already doing so well. <laughs> well, why not Frenzy? Just go crazy. Well, because uh, Juggernaut makes both downs a push, and that will use strip all. Fair enough. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's gotta, his uh, big trick there. i got to remember that with my own Witch Elf. So, he does have a solid treatment that got his uh, first level for... Uh, guard instead of grab. I believe that's because he didn't actually have any guards, so it makes sense. Yeah, solid choice. Well, Squiggy's Squiggy's doing well. I mean, he's not the leader of the rookie division for nothing. Yeah, and if he didn't get that uh, PC troubles, he would have most likely be doing been very well. Yeah, contenders. yeah. I mean, what was his? Let's go back to his team real fast. He doesn't have any. The Discord is this is his stadium. I like that. Ah. His three losses are from that. From his three weeks of not being able to play. Oh, that's saddening. So right there tells you everything you needed to know. Yeah. So he's four Good four. Coach. Yep. He just uh. It wasn't in the cards, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at the un unaccompanied minos where there is no mino. Yep. Now that's a bull centaur I can get behind. Break Which tackle, one? block, and mighty blow? Yes, please. It's the, definitely a nice one, though, but I like that top one a bit more. Well, I was about to Just say... Blodge, sure hands. But look how he built it, though. He went dodge, then block, then sure hands. So I can get behind that. I, I can get behind picking sure hands at that point. Yeah. And He's, then just look at those chorfs. Yep. One They're with claw, good. one with mighty blow, three guard. And then hobgoblins doing hobgoblin things and dying. Yeah. 
I, I, I would even sack, leave. Uh, looks innocent three sometime soon, but I think he's using them as a placeholder to remember what his name is. Well, the other thing is, is he could just go ahead and use them for a few more rounds. Damn it. So close. I know. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> AB six, it sucks. Don't get me wrong, but it's a hobgoblin. What are you doing with him? Probably trying to foul or he, exactly. Back. Or you're going to have him in the back to pick up the ball and hand it off to somebody who matters. But he's got a bull centaur with sure hands, so he's probably not even doing that anymore. Yeah, they're probably just there as uh, line meat. Kicking people in the in the teeth as well. Yeah, so. I like how he has one that isn't on the third uh, life so far. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Ook Incorporated Acrodome. Come on, follow you. No, you took it! Okay, one second. Okay, sorry about that. No worries. So, um, I was going to take a quick look at his statistics here. We see seven, four, four. He did really well in the spins. Three and three wins, one loss. But he did sustain two deaths. Yeah. So that's a bit rough, but dang, it's this team nice. Yeah, I like it. I hope he sticks around too. Debt monkey. We we need to bother some of these people. Yeah. So, why don't you take us into the next one? So, we got the uh, Carnival Freak Show that we're going to skip over because yep. the coach did drop out. But now we're moving on to horrible cliches. An almost yeah. 1800 Dark Elf team coached by Monkey Man. So... If you just look, he has a roster of 13. This shouldn't happen. Why not? Where's the claw mighty blow? Where's the palm? It needs to kill some elves. Hold up. <laughs> Slow down there. He does right. have an AV7 line elf, which, as a person who now has one of those, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I haven't got to try mine out. Uh, I'll tell you what. Take, take a look at the one witch elf with diving tackle. Yeah, that, that's solid. I don't think I'd have done that. Oh, okay. Well, it's just, uh, it's bludge and then just scooting around. What are you supposed to do if you don't have tackle? You're just going to be throwing dice at it and hoping for a pow. And if not, he's just going to be on you. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, tackle. if the... Or if he puts it next to the ball and you have to scatter it or try to dodge away with the ball. I guess stabbing tackle does end their turn so you can get her up super fast so she doesn't get fouled. Well, she also has jump up too. So yeah. you're not losing any mobility by putting them on the ground. That's fair. So I don't mind that. I like the movement up blitzer. Definitely solid. I like that too. I might actually think about, well, I don't see a runner. So I think he's probably using the blitzers as his ball carriers. Probably, especially with Try Me. He's just solid for it. Yeah. Sure hands might be the next thing for him. Got a yeah, guard. So. Got a guard lineman. It's always solid. Can't hate that. Also has some great names there. <laughs> don't die on me. <laughs> I don't, like that. Don't you die on me twice. Yeah. Whereas I've got a bad feeling about this. I think he probably died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It's a Star Wars cliche. You got to have that one. Yeah. I like it. Let's take a look at his statistics. 853. So, yeah, I believe is in uh playoff contention if I remember correctly. The the spin games 211 not six, bad. 642. Is his uh season 6 one. He sustained one death this season and it's the only death he's had. Take a quick look at the yeah. club. Really tired writing. Yes, cliched. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, he look. is uh, not really elfing like you do with a bunch of touchdowns. He usually just scores once and that's it. Usually. There's some different ones, but for the most part, it's just been score one and win. You went deeper than I did. Oh, really? Uh, dude, he's got 4 0. 2 0. Where's that 4 0? 2 0. Okay, maybe I'm just lying now. <laughs> I don't think you're lying, just mistaken. Maybe you were looking at the wrong team. I don't know. 
He does have yeah. a couple of ones, but when he has ones, he's got either losses or ties. The yeah. the resistance is futile being a 1-0 win. Yeah, he, yeah. he did Lizard all right. Lizard Beast, 1-0 win. Man, look and at And then a couple of those are... Uh... Oh, no, those aren't uh, concedes. Maybe against Squiggy it is, because he only had conceded losses. So, that yeah. was one of those. But... uh. 4-0, I think that's just the classic case of uh, Kemri versus Elves. And and the uh, the Tomb Guardians not doing what they needed to do. How about exactly. the 0-0 game against Ace Trucking Company? I think that's pretty good since he is the leader of the division. So, or one of the leaders, I should say. Uh, tying with them is just, it's not the worst thing you can do. No, It slows him down. You might not be gaining, but other people are gaining on him, which makes it harder for him. He has to play for the win at the end of the season. Well, it was very so early in the... Yep. In fact, yep. it, it might have been their first game in the, in the division. Could have been. Because he's got the four. And look at that. He played um, unaccompanied Minos in the uh, preseason. That's pretty cool. Yep, I like that. Well, Which, let's, do you want to jump into the orcs next? Yep, yeah, let's go for it. So we got typos happen, or hoofen, if you pronounce it correctly. Ice cold bear. Yeah. I'm not going through all these. It's funny, but I'm not going through all these. How about yeah. your blitzers there, man? They are mean, man. Just, they're so mean. Blood strength four. Kill I don't piece. even mind that his killer is uh, agi busted. Just oh wow, I have three focus. He's I, gonna do what he does still. That's kind of funny that he went all AV nine no troll. I still like a troll on it. I mean, he does have enough money to get one. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty good for him. But judging by the statistics. He isn't doing bad with what he's doing, considering he's seven, two, and three. Oh, it's nice. Uh, he's got to be. Uh, he's got to be playing the foul game though with that bench. Then I can't see yeah. any other reason why to have thirteen. Got to use my ultimate. Yeah, but uh, he's also not losing any uh, TV in him, as in like they're not getting leveled up at all. Yeah. The only thing I would want would be probably two of those to level up, and having the rest as a uh, normal bench. But well, that doing good. Does a lineman get what's a lineman get? You know, sure hands block. Kick. Dirty player kick. He doesn't need your hands if he has uh, that blitzer with four strength. Uh, maybe I would not, be carrying the ball on him. Maybe not the first pickup. Maybe not the first skill. But I think a line. I think if I was building this team like this, to where you had four dedicated blitzers that do special things, and then your black orcs are slowly growing. You got three block, one away from another block. <laughs> Or do you I, think you should get Frenzy on that guy? On which guy? On the uh, Strength 4 Blitzer. You're worth it. I don't know. But I think I would go ahead and turn one of these linemen into my ball carrier. Yeah. You can do an interesting thing and try to just do that around. You you level the linemen up. You got five of them. If he doesn't get doubles for dodge, then you give him sure hands, kick, or dirty player. Yep. I like kick or dirty player on those guys. Yeah. And they all have the same face. I just want you to know that. They all... Hey, typos happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. What's he doing with his club? He's got Astro Granite. I like the look of that Astro Granite. Has the skulls on it. Looks cool. <laughs> and he's at the Auto yes. Auditorium. Yeah, I saw that. I just was going to let it be. Hey, yeah. Raven Poe, the poorly conceived sequel, the Baywatch Knights. He looks mm -hmm. like he has lost some peasants recently. I mean, at least it's not his whole team. And uh, it might be by design, too, because this is an inducement Brett team. Aiming to get Griff, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. So... He does have an interesting reason for being such a low TV. And I, I just love it. I like the team concept. Going with two rerolls, because with all the learners, he's really not going to need more. Right. <laughs> and, 
And he just has to do shenanigans and is doing good in standings with it. Statistics. 5-3-3. Three, three. He played no spin games. Yeah. But I think that actually helps him out for coming in a uh, spin game. Uh, Free, yeah. Yeah, just four spin games with everyone else and just coming down uh, TV is actually perfect for this. Well, he's got a strength up blitzer. He's got the blodging tackle guy. The one who's injured is just missed next game, so no big deal there. The, the yeah. real question here is, is he going to stick with the team? Because last season he went with a Nurgle team with no re-rolls and just wow, I know. decimated crazily in his division. Yeah, And then apparently just went, screw it, let's do this one next. So I, I think yeah. Raven Poe might be joining these for just for the giggles. I, I actually like how he's doing it. He doesn't really go up there, but he's always coming in with a different team and a different outlook. But uh, I think from what he said, he was going to do halflings. Yeah. But I think you said that he said he was going to do goblins. Well, if goblins show up, I think he's probably going to flip a coin to decide which one he's going to do. He does love the stunty game, that's for sure. He's written yep. about it many times on Reddit. So, uh, tell us what you come up with, Raven Poe. Maybe flip a coin. Tell if it was heads or tails. You know, we want to know what was the uh, deciding factor on what team you're going to play next, or if you're going to keep with them. And that that does finish up Division Four. So, uh, Iron Master, you want to take us out for tonight? Yep. So this has been a recap of Division Four in the rail, and uh, this is me, Iron Master, with my co-host Ladias, and we're going to be bidding you farewell. Good night, guys. Have a good one.